Well, if everyone is ready, we can start with a quick recap. Um, uh, just about about uh, the things that happened last time. Uh, we were introduced to uh, a new a new member of the party. Uh, which you guys have graciously uh, added to your ranks. Maybe, maybe there was a little bit of nepotism. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can it can it be nepotism if if I don't know? Yeah, we'll, I think so. We'll go, I think that we'll works. We'll go with the. Uh, we'll go with. We'll go with the. Uh, Ne nepotism has Definitely gotten Gunther, uh, Gunther a spot in the party, and uh, and we have uh, uh, when we left last time, uh, uh, Vortnim, the uh, the soul soul uh, fairy. Uh, Soul fairy uh, uh, person, that person that runs the fairy, uh, <clears throat> was uh, had just gotten his shoes on and his pantaloons, and uh, was just asking you to hop on hop on the boat. He's ready to get you to Firewatch Island. Yeah, right. I think I think I think we we had actually <laughs> just been like in the process of getting onto the boat. That's uh that's right. That's right. Um All right. Yeah, he's he's uh he's just uh just begun to uh uh kind of kind of push off uh push the boat uh deeper into the water currently currently it's uh um it's on it's on the shore a little ways um everyone can uh and after he puts uh after he puts it into the pushes it for like a foot or two he turns to you and says you gonna help? Oh yeah, I'll uh, I'll I'll jump in. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, Brimhilda willingly waddles over. I I I, I would kind of like to be uh back before uh before nightfall. What you you guys are just staying there the the night, right? Well, it depends on how long it takes for us to get done what we got to get done. Well, I'm not gonna and he'll he'll be saying this while while everyone's pushing the uh uh pushing the boat into the water. He says, "Well, I'm not gonna really not gonna wait around for anything." So, um, I Unless, unless there's, uh, <laughs> unless there's money involved, but I, I'm, I, I really don't have the time to wait around. I, I gotta get my toesies all raisins. First off, that's a horrific image, <clears throat> and second, I'll give you five gold for every hour after dark that you wait for us on the island. Oh, five gold per hour. Uh, is is there any uh, kind of like hazardous pay involved? Why is the island dangerous? Oh no 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 no! <laughs> I don't. <laughs> don't is he telling don't the don't truth? Yeah, can, me. can Gunther uh, read this situation? Um. Uh, 
Let's let's see some uh, some insight rolls here. Seems pretty trustworthy to me. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Well, Gunther. Holy shit! What are what are your what is your insight? Your I've insight's got, insane. <laughs> I've got two things that I do really, really well. Everything else, as y'all soon will find out, is not so great. All right, uh, Gunther. Uh, Gunther realizes uh, there, there's, there's some, there's some real, uh, there's some real fear. Uh, uh, behind Vortnim's uh, Vortnim statement um, about about something something that happens uh, something that happens at night. Hey, hey, brother! You you know we're not trying to trying to pressure you, right? We we just want to know what we're in for when when we get on this island. <clears throat> These three are pretty pretty ferocious. They can probably handle it, but, you know, better to know, right? When he says ferocious, I do that, like, clap, that cat claw, like, rawr, kind of thing. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Incredible. Um, okay, I'll level with you. I'll level with you. Okay, okay, okay. There's a bird. Go on. His name is Rasp. A named bird. That's horrific. Oh! <laughs> horrific isn't the start of it. Uh, do, you, do you know what a periton is? I don't believe I do. It's one of those stationary bikes, right? <laughs> do I know what a periton is? Uh, I'd say go ahead and uh, roll roll a nature check. Uh, if if you'd uh, like like some help. Uh... Yeah, I it's it's a I'd say it's a pretty rare uh pretty rare creature. Um uh you may have heard about peritons before. Uh you just know that they're some some kind of monstrous bird. Uh uh, mixed mixed with uh other other animals um is it a very big bird <laughs> it's massive it's massive it's massive uh, okay look look you don't just name name something rasp and 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 like expect it to be something small i haven't the slightest what that means she's well, just know, like staring like, at like him a, just there's like a, nothing behind her eyes it's like a rat anyways um it's like a it, rat it, it it hunts it hunts uh it hunts during the night um it may be kind of like an owl um, a really big owl. Um. But how big are we saying here? Um. It, it. Okay. Three, uh, three years ago. Three years ago. Uh, we hired, we hired a hunter. Uh, to go kill this Periton. Uh, he had, he had probably the biggest crossbow that I've ever seen in my entire life. And, uh, he's got, he's got, uh, no one saw him again. Anyways, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> he's, he's, he usually doesn't go to the island. 
I'm just worried about coming back to the mainland um, and uh, he's waiting for me or something. I don't, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Don't quite know, no. But I do like a good roast chicken. Dreams? Or uh, perhaps a duck or a goose. So, Piggy tastes nice. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure, look, this, this, this guy has been living for about, uh, 20 years or so. Um, I'm, I'm sure his meat's pretty, pretty tasty. Aged chicken. Uh, look. That's why everyone prefers mutton to lamb, right? Ah, yes. uh, I think I got. I think you might might have got that a little bit backwards. You're not a big eater, are you? I mean, I'm a big eater. I know lots about all kinds whoa, of food. Whoa, just whoa. ask me. I love to eat. I'm oh, what's talking to, I'm just to you? To sell this to you. <laughs> I'm scared shitless of rasp. All right. Okay. I ain't scared of nothing. Oh, then we're then we're <laughs> then we're golden. Uh, let's finish pushing the boat back in. Uh, any uh, okay? Yeah, uh, uh, he'll he'll uh, uh he'll accept the additional five gold per per hour. Um, did I say five? Yeah. Yeah, you did? I thought I said ten. Uh, he no, you said accept, five. He, he will accept five. Oh, cool. If you want if you want to overpay oh, him. Oh, no, five. Uh, if, he, he will, if he only he wants will five, accept. that's fine. Okay. Oh, that's, that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Um, and so... Uh, uh, and so uh, he, uh, he pushes... Uh, he uh, has everyone uh, get into the boat, um, and uh, if everyone's ready and willing, uh, he's going to push off. Yeah. Let's go. Absolutely. All right. So as, as you as you push off, uh, he uh, he goes ahead and uh, he's he's sitting at the back uh, with a, with an oar in his <clears> hand. <throat> uh, and and he'll he'll just go ahead and and paddle paddle out a little bit uh, a little ways until uh, until the wind picks up. And then he'll uh, then he'll put the sail out. Um, but while he's uh, uh, while he's going ahead and 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 paddling out. Um. Could I could I get some names? Could I get some names of everyone around here? Brumhilda yeah. stands on the boat. Is this a small boat? It's it's a pretty small boat. Oh um, yeah, as soon as she stands, she kinda like wobbles around and goes, yeah. Oh no, not going to do that. My name's Brumhilda and like sits back down. Three points of contact when you're on my boat, please. Thank you. You understand? Uh. Can you can you count to three? Uh, Counting's not me forte. No. All right. I'm, uh, be, uh, oh, come on, Broomhilda. You don't even need to take your boots off for that. All right. I'm okay. Uh, uh, lower. Why would low, I take uh, my boots off? Uh, two so hands. So you can count to twenty. You're trying to get a gun up my feet. Have to. Oh. You little freak. <laughs> oh, uh, two hands and one foot. Two hands, just but touch touch the boat at all times. How about that? There we go. She like looks over the side of the boat into the water and gets kind of like uneasy looking. What do you think's down there? It's sand. I, we're we're not very far yet. I don't like this. Fish well, piss. We got we got fifty minutes left. Y'all think there's sea devils down there? Not anymore. Oh Lord, I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. Okay. All right. All right. 
Uh, uh, next, next, uh, Brumhilda. Thank you. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Gunther. Gunther. I was the one who was talking about the Sea Devils just a moment ago. Gunther, Sea Devil Gunther. All right. That's Who's what they the, call me. Who else? My name's uh, Corin. Corin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And uh, you need a you. bigger boat. I, 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 I may be able to get it if I can uh, get my hand on some of that platinum, Corin. Yeah, you can't even put a uh, put a keg on this boat. What's good? What's the, what's the good of a boat if you can't put a keg on it? Uh, to get money to buy a keg. Uh, uh you uh, uh last uh, last gentle uh gentle dwarf. Grouse the hard nut. Well, met. I'm a bit of a storyteller. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. I I love I love telling a good story for a coin or two. How can I basic can I interest you in a story? I would love to hear a story. I From Hilda, have... like, grumps under her breath and is like, I'll give you a bit of gold to just shut up and pow a little faster. Shut it, grumps. I <laughs> have oh, a story. Oh. Uh, um, well, I'm... <laughs> oh, well, I... I seem to remember uh, everyone else having maybe... Uh... I'm, I'm sure they're, they'll, they'll cover you. They'll cover you, Gunther. They'll cover you, I'm sure. Uh, my Pete, my my storytelling fees aren't very high, anyways. It's just just a little bit, a little. I, I work on tips, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> work on, work on tips. Yeah, of course. I I got these ball bearings I can offer if you if you don't uh, if, if you'll accept them instead of coin for for my share. I I don't I don't need those. Gunther uh, goes to tie the, the pouch back up and like five slip out into the boat. Oh, oh, uh oh. Um, okay. Um, um, well, we'll just let those roll around. How about that? We'll just let those roll around. <laughs> I'll just let those roll around. It's a nice, nice, like, kind of percussion soundtrack to my, to my story. How about that? You got it. Okay, uh, first story. It's a, uh, it's a little bit, little bit about uh, oh, pirates. Ooh, ooh, ooh. know what I'm saying? Pirates. You guys like pirates? You better not say yes. Anyways, pirate. This, this, uh, this involves uh, a a particular pirate. Uh. And it, uh... What's his name? Uh, Tell us a pirate's name. Well, that, that, that comes, that comes later, okay? That comes later. It, it, it has to start out with the name of the pirate captain's ship. The name of the pirate captain's ship. I can't remember. Um, okay, I'm... Okay. Okay, we'll start with the pirate captain's name. His name is Seargal. Uh, uh, Seargal the Cursed, actually. He was a... Uh, this was... This is about 15 years ago. I was... I was a little bit younger then. A little bit younger then, but... 15 years ago... Seargal the Cursed was an absolute scourge around these waters. Uh, so much so that uh, that, an, that an old retired admiral took it upon himself to, to make a, a, a naval outpost on, on Firewatch Island. Uh, this is where we're going. Uh, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to this. Make, an, make a naval outpost on Firewatch Island 
to try and uh, try and control uh, try and control uh, Sir Gaul and and his his uh, dastardly crew. Now, uh, there was there was about about five years where there was skirmishes on the on the high seas, uh, most of which Sirgal won, and he got he got so uh, so powerful, uh, adding ships to his fleet that that he he ended up attempting to assault the island itself now now this now this retired this retired admiral had the uh, had the gold uh, and the power of the king behind him so that this this was not this was no uh this was no small potatoes small potatoes here this was a big this was a big battle uh Dirgal comes and he's uh He's riding on on his ship, which I can't remember the name of, and and he's he's firing his ballista, and he's 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 gonna uh, about to send a boarding party, and then and then uh, then there's a priest, there's a priest on Firewatch Island, uh, the 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 the. Uh, the shepherd, the shepherd of of Firewatch Island, and he prays. He prays to his uh, uh, prays to his god, and uh, to to summon a, a a mighty storm, a mighty wave to to sink to sink the Tamarout, and uh, oh, that that was the, yeah, yeah, that's the name to the the Tamarout. That was the name, uh, and 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 it happened. It happened. A, a massive wave, massive wave, came and capsized the whole ship. And uh, and uh, Sirgal was uh, ne never never bothered the the waters anymore. He uh. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if his treasure was ever found. <laughs> uh, that's. Uh, he would have to have a <clears throat> some kind of spell or something uh, to go look at look at that uh, that shipwreck down there. But you know, it's. It's a. Uh, it's a, it's actually pretty recent history. Pretty recent history. That was yeah. That was about ten, seven, seven years ago, eight years ago. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And so yeah, that's that's where we're going. That's where we're going. Now you may you may have heard me say, naval outpost. However, uh. We're not going to a naval outpost. We're going to a hermitage. You know what I'm saying? No. Krafla has been staring at Vortnan the entire time. And at this point, he interrupts. Are you Sirgal? <laughs> no, no. Insight check. <laughs> uh, he, he, uh, uh, I, I mean, go go ahead. Uh, uh, he seems he seems a little he seems a little insulted. Um. Uh, he doesn't he doesn't want to see seem uh seem uh piratish. He yeah, wants okay. to. It's not a not a cover story. Uh, Gunther will give a nod to uh, Krafla. Krafla frowns. Well, well, you see, um, I, not Sirgo. Uh, you see, uh, seven years ago, 
Um, I I know this to, almost to the day because my buddy uh, my buddy Manus was uh, was running the ferry back then. Um, Manus Manus is doing a doing a trip just like just like the one that we're the one that we're on right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, bringing some uh, bringing some supplies to the island, and you know you know he gets there puts the puts the casks of of food and and water onto the dock and there's no one there and that that's that's not that's normal that's normal sometimes sometimes they don't uh sometimes they don't come down to meet you at the dock uh especially if it if you're like late or late or something but there was no one there was no one ar around and ba back in those back in those days, there were a lot of people around. Um, there was there was some. Uh, I th I th there were there were actually some some horses. There were some horses on the island as well. Um, and the horses were gone. And he ties up his boat. Goes in. And there is not a single soul left. It's not a single soul left on the whole island. This was seven years ago. Except was... Rasp, right? Is this where Rasp shows up? No, Br okay. Rasp, Rasp is Rasp is on the mainland most of the time. <laughs> like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll bet you. I'll bet you some. I'll I'll bet you something, some gold, uh, that we won't see Rasp. How about that? We don't want to see Rasp, right? I know that's. I'm. I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet that we're not going to see Rasp. You want to pay me if we don't see Rasp? I, no, no. I want you to pay me. <laughs> Wait, why would I pay you? We already paid you. Okay, okay. Look, 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 look. Brumhilda's like starting to tilt sideways very slowly as these like soft snores are coming from her. <laughs> there's not a there's not a single there's not um there's not a single you know person on the island anymore. Not a single one. Completely deserted. They, so no, who have you been no going trips either. to for the last seven years? Well, I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. Uh, uh, so he runs away. Uh, I think he goes a little bit mad. Uh, Manus. Uh, I took over the business. Um, later. For about five years, uh, the island was super cursed. And no one went there until these uh these monks these monks come over uh they say okay we need somewhere nice nice and quiet to contemplate i i don't know what they contemplate but we need something nice and quiet to comp contemplate and we say free island and they say how cursed and we say it was five years ago. So very, right? Probably still pretty cursed, but you know, they've been they've been doing they've been doing fine for about a year, maybe a year and a half. Oh, they're still over there? Well, that's where we're that's where we're going. The Hermitage? What are you guys doing? Oh, here? monks lives in Hermitage. I, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, Her hermits, I'm now. Hermits live in Hermitage. Where do the monks live then? Well, they're with them. I'm learning so much. Well worth, can, well worth can, the ball bearings. Can someone can shake? Can more. can someone shake? Uh, Br Broomhilda. Someone sh shake her awake. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll go over and wake her up, or at least like put her more centrally located on the how, boat. How are you choosing to wake me up? I'm gonna go to the <clears throat> farthest side of the boat from you, 
cast Mage Hand and slap you. <laughs> Broomhilda, like, jumps up full fucking stand and goes, ah, who, who did it? Who was it? Who? And, and she's, like, kind of jumping around at this. Um... All right, I you're you're gonna have to make uh uh <laughs> this boat is not very big. No. No. Nope. Um. Let's let's go ahead and have everyone. Yeah. Make uh make an acrobatics check. I got this easy. Oh my god, I did. <laughs> oh, crap. Well. Okay. Um I I think or about about now you're you're going you're going at a at, at a little little bit of a clip here. Um And uh, right as right as you uh, you stand you stand up very uh, very quickly and immediately uh, <clears throat> throw the boat off balance. Uh, Krafla, maybe you're maybe you're on the complete other side of the boat. Um, but uh, but as as soon as as soon as Broomhilda stands up and and throws the boat off, uh, you're you you careen right into uh, you careen right into Broomhilda, uh, and uh, and you both uh, tumble onto the floor. Um, Craftla on top, Broomhilda on the bottom. Oi, what are you getting at? <laughs> what am I getting at? She's trying You've to been shove after him me off. this whole time. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Get off me, you big brute. You can't do that without me permissions. <laughs> you filthy wench. <laughs> uh, all right. I mean, th this is... Th sit down. Sit down. I'm this trying to not... sit down. He's trying to get me out my armor. Careful for those ball barons. <laughs> There's ten of them now. I'd... You can sleep. Just sleep Raffle in the hauls center. himself like half up and just like sits down just like flat on her chest. Just like <gasps> looking down at her and just like glaring. I'm going to try to shove him off and into the water. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be a uh, a contested uh oh hi everybody uh uh strength strength or acrobatics check oh what do you want uh either or I not not uh, athletics or acrobatics check for you for you you first uh Brumhilda and then uh. And then the contested one from... Uh... Oh, no. Hey, Albert, thank you for the raid! Welcome, raiders! <laughs> your, 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 uh, your, attempt, uh, your attempt is met with uh, 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 kind of a, a, a twisting motion uh, that uh, kind of uh, <laughs> sends your shove uh, off somewhere else. Uh, get off me! <laughs> I can't breathe under you! You can't behave is what you can't do. I can behave myself just fine! I was having a bit of shut eye, was rusting me eyes, and then who- was it you that slapped me? Was it you? Was it me? I was listening to Vortnum's story and you were missing it. Oh well, I'm, not all stories are good stories, you know? I don't think he's that great at storytelling as he says he is. He's hey, basically our pretty, host. That's incredibly a rude. Good story. What? what there was that treasure and a mean? curse. I'm not convinced he's not the freaking pirate himself. 
is there's a pirate. intrigue. There's drama. I can't oh, believe you. A, You're the is, worst. You're just we, the worst. Should we kill him? He's a pirate. No, no, no. I, I don't think he's a pirate. I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty darn sure he's not a pirate. <laughs> She's like Hold up a second. We need, to, we, need to, we need to backtrack a little bit. Do I need to take a better control of this situation? <laughs> Broomhilda, do you have a kill a pirate on sight thing? Oh, I don't like things by the water. You know this. She's like... She's kind of like a turtle, like, on her back, like, wiggling I'm... dramatically under Craffle this whole time as she's t talking. How can someone who drinks so much have such a problem with a little liquid? I don't like it. It's very different. It's very different. You don't know what's down there. I know exactly when what's down there. I don't know what's down there. When they're having this conversation, <laughs> I am going to use Minor Illusion... 30 feet behind us to make a moderately loud sound of the oh god what was it I can't remember what the name of the creature was um it was definitely uh, oh the dragon turtle what? Say, say that again I'm going to use minor illusion 30 feet behind us to create the sound of the dragon turtle. Okay. Oh, what was that? What was that? I'm gonna wee myself. What was that? Grafla nearly uh, falls off of Broomhilda trying to <laughs> spin around and get a look. <laughs> okay, nobody panic. Nobody panic. We're just gonna keep going straight. Bro, faster! Row! Row like you never rode before, I'm, Story Man! I'm not, I'm not hey, rowing Broomhilda. anymore. We're, we're on wind power here. I can't be. You better start <laughs> praying that there's more wind. Well, you better I'm get up there and blow down. into that sail. Do something. Do something now! <laughs> I'm at the rudder. <laughs> I mean, I could... I can help if if we needed it, but there's no. You don't need to help. I just need the. Uh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, of course. Everyone heard oh, it. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. okay. I'm sure it was nothing. It the it's, it's our, the sounds already passed. <laughs> okay. 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 I I'm might regret doing this, but hmm. Nah, I was gonna use control winds. <laughs> uh, Alright, just uh, just a few more minutes. Just a few more minutes. Uh... Oh, it's like prison in here. This is well, terrible. <clears throat> we we're almost, you know, we're almost there. Yeah, we're you don't go off at you, big now, elf. Crap now offers up. his hand to Broomhilda. Oh, you're not sitting on me anymore. No, I, I sort of like got off of you when I spun around to try to find the illusory uh, oh, okay. dragon turtle. I was, I was uh, v very scared by the sound of a big scary monster. She just glares at you and slaps your hand away. Don't you touch me! I know you was trying something funny. That's me, the funny one. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> from who the. He's he's kind of got a point. He uh, he he's not the one who woke you up. She looks confused. <laughs> I'm I'm the one who I'm the one who woke you up and. Oh, well, what you slapped me for? It wasn't very nice. Well, we needed to get you moved, and I figured that was the safest way for me to do it. Well, it wasn't very smart, was it? I could tip the whole thing. You know, I can't swim. Mm, nope, I don't think I knew that. But I'm, I'm a, glad I I'm a fucking dwarf. Of course, I can't swim. Jesus, I haven't got me fancy cloak on. Of course, I can't swim. I would have sunk like a rock to the bottom. You would have been fine, I'm sure. You're trying to kill me. I know it. I am not. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she has no intelligence. <laughs> no, she's an idiot. You're just arguing with stupid. It's 
But in all actuality, she probably would have floated because she's so full of fucking fat and salt. Let's be honest. Also, do don't we still have those cloaks? Do we give them back? No, that they you still have the cloaks. We have them. Um, yeah, she just doesn't have it equipped anymore. Yeah. So worst case scenario. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You really can't fix stupid. So we um. Actually, this was uh, this was with Burke. We um, the four of us kind <laughs> of. Um, <laughs> Completely subverted uh, an entire army of sea monsters by infiltrating their hideout and killing their leader. You just had and... to one up Vortnum's story, didn't you? Oh no, I think Vortnum's story is far more interesting than what we did. What did you... you were in that? Assault? Yeah, we were. Oh. Y'all were like generals? Oh no, we weren't that important. You know, it was uh it was basically eeny meeny miny mo for who they picked to send underwater and we drew the that stick. So Oh, y'all are assassins. No, we're just we're just a group we're, of people. We're just a group who did a thing because we wanted to. Actually, I... Vorten, Vortnim, Vortnim. Uh, as as soon as you say uh, assassins, uh, Gunther, um, Vortnim like looks uh, quite fearful. He's may maybe thinking uh, what <laughs> what in the world. Who, who who am I taking to the island? Probably just local farmers that can afford to pay five gold an hour for you to sit around on your ass. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've been meaning to uh, try this thing out. Uh, Gun Gunther's wearing the robe that Corrin made. <clears throat> uh, yeah. It, it it feels kind of kind of fancy, and he starts plucking at a thread that pull ends up pulling an entire star off the uh, <laughs> <laughs> off the rope as he like starts to kind of uh, juggle it between both hands, hot potato style. He just raises his one hand up into the sky, and it fires a fifth level magic missile just straight <laughs> into the sky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, so... Uh, well, that was quite lovely, wasn't it? That's what that does. All right. <laughs> okay. Man, you... <laughs> Corn and Crafler are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you guys landed the two smartest cats in all the land. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> uh, uh, Vortnum, it looks absolutely stunned. Um, I... Can I try? <laughs> please, please, uh, not. I mean, uh, yeah, let, let's can, let's wait. Yeah, let's wait till we get taller ground. I, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Don't want to hurt the man ship. Thank you, thank you. I did Bobos went right through my mainsail. Also, can't okay. hurt anything. Jeez, treat me like a child. Okay. She pulls her like flask out and takes a hefty swig of ale from it. Okay, um, it's probably about this time that the... Crap, I do love the insight, the insight into your brain. Okay. <laughs> You're finally within sight of the island. The sun makes the waves sparkle as Firewatch Island comes fully into view. 
Three barren hills are its most no noticeable landmarks, rising above narrow, rocky beaches and small, wiry shrubs on an otherwise sparse landscape. In between those high points, a small fortress and beacon tower can be seen. The building is made of stone and looks to have two floors. A bell tower rises an additional two stories above the rest of the building, and a low stone wall surrounds part of the complex. Well, there it is. Uh, we're almost, uh, we're almost there. We're we're just gonna go around to the uh, to the north side of the island, and uh, there's a nice pier there. We'll, uh, I'll I'll tie up, I'll tie up, and and uh, maybe maybe get some sun. Maybe get some sun while you uh, while you uh, go fetch. Uh, what what are you doing there? Again? Getting some some get getting some sun is a good idea, I think. Get those feetsies all raised on up. <laughs> I will, I will. Uh <laughs> in the dark. Uh ha. Huh. There's no promise that we're not gonna be done before sundown. I'm... And what time is it now? Just just for reference. Uh, I w I would say it's it's probably right around uh, kind of like dinner time, like five. It's... Never mind. So we'd have to move super fast in order to get back here before dusk. Yeah. Well, it, it's it's about um, it's about an hour and a half trip. Uh, hour and a half trip. There's probably yeah probably like. 20 more minutes uh 20 more minutes of uh of travel or so um yeah it's he he was he was planning on uh just letting you off and turning right back um just doing a quick perception kind of glancing around is there anywhere that this guy could hide that Fortnan could hide if he needed to um I'm not not really uh no not, not really at all. They're, they're, it's, it's pretty sparse. Mostly, uh, uh, mostly rocky, rocky beach. A little bit of sand. More rock. Uh, and so, so with that, um. Everyone, uh, yeah, everyone, everyone gets, uh, he, he, he brings the, brings the boat into this, uh, uh, this dock here. And says, oh, we've made it, uh. No one here. Um, no one here. Uh, uh, well, this is this is kind of a kind of an odd time. Uh, and like right right as he's uh, uh he's about to. Um. There, there's a, there's a bell. There begins to be a, a bell, uh, <clears throat> rigging from the bell tower. Can't, can't quite make out 
uh, like anyone in the bell tower room. What time um, of day is it right now, Javi? It's 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 about five or six. Okay. Uh, in the afternoon. What is Vorkin's reaction to the bell ringing? Well, uh, I, it it seems to be like a uh, maybe a normal thing. Um, he's he's just uh, he kind of maybe breathes a little bit of a sigh of a, a relief. Um, uh, but he says, "Up, oh, well, I I guess they saw us." Um, is it dinner time? Is it the dinner bell? Oh, that, I could go for may, a bite. Yeah, I I think that may be the dinner bell, or maybe a evening evening prayer or something. Oh, get me off this floating coffin! After you, Brumhilda. She waddles out the onto the pier. I just okay. Want to Okay, so uh, first, uh, a, a little quick description. Um, a short wooden pier extends out into the water, connected by a path to an open archway in the fortress wall. The pier is in good shape, with wooden pilings raising it well above the high tide line uh, of the rocky beach. The area is deserted with no other boats or people in sight. The call of gulls, the shrieking of crows, and the crashing of waves are the only sounds. Other than the bell. Well, the, the, the bell, after, after about four tolls, uh, the bell has stopped. Now, Vortnum, are you willing to... Uh wait here for us or do you intend to pick us up uh, tomorrow or later on hmm <laughs> keep in mind there's good money for staying I I would like to leave you know I, I really would but the money is good the money is good the money is good okay i'll stay i'll stay don't let greed be your death i am curious though how hard is it to sail at night it's not well, easy well i'm uh, if uh if uh if my if my buddy is uh if my buddy is paying attention uh He'll uh, he'll notice that my boat's gone, and uh, and he'll set uh, he'll set up the uh, uh, set up the beacon fire. And if, if he's doesn't... not paying attention, uh, then I'll have to use my wits, and hopefully our experience. That's true, uh, Corin. I, I I think you said you were a captain, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I am right now. <clears throat> well, good stuff. We'll see you soon, Morgan. Just uh, one last thought, Fortnum, if I could. Sure. <clears throat> I'd prefer if you stay here, you know, if you said that you were going to, but uh, I understand if uh, you get a little bit uh, uh, change in your mind and want to head home, but it would just be, uh, it would be real rude if I had to swim home all by myself um, to come get you, and uh, <clears throat> if it, because my friends got stranded here. So I'll just, uh, if you do have to leave, make sure you come back. Because if I have to swim all the way back, um, I'll be pretty cranky when I arrive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. First, uh, I, I usually usually come uh, first light. First light. Uh, and just like hour, hour after hour after first light, I'll, I'll be right here on this pier. If I leave, I, I, I could still stay. 
Um, uh, but like, he looks at the sky, and like you can already you can already tell that he's he's uh, he's kind of just like he's looking at the he's looking at the knot that he just tied, uh, tying the boat to the pier with just with like intense hatred uh. <laughs> from Hilda calls down from the end of the dock can we go now come on it's dinner time you heard the bell got her jogs to catch up <laughs> sorry Vertnum you heard the lady Krafla trots after from Hilda he, uh, he calls out I got some uh, dried fish I got some dried fish here. Ugh. Smoked. That's it's a actually, weird actually one he not is. Bad. Actually, not bad. Not bad. Um. Wait. Wait a second, dude. Do you hear that? Um. I don't know. Off Do I? in the distance. You, uh, you see, uh, a, uh, a form in the air. Make the sound we hear, Hobby. Oh, oh boy. Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm just imagining uh, that that's the sound a boat would make if it's like masts and sails turned into wings and it just lifted itself out <laughs> of the water. Uh, this is this isn't you, good. Um, your uh, your west. Um, casting a uh, casting a quick shadow over you is uh, Rasp. Rasp is an absolutely massive creature. Um, it's a uh, its wingspan. Uh, its wingspan is about uh, about 40 feet um, uh, let me see if I have if I have a handout for it <laughs> I do It's described as an eagle uh, with the head of a elk with big teeth. Which is an absolutely terrifying creature. <laughs> Um, Why does it have to have teeth? Yeah, the teeth <laughs> sold, Why? sold it for me. Right? <laughs> Everything else, totally like, yeah, cool. Yep. But the fucking teeth, I don't like the it. Teeth, I would be trying to domesticate this creature. Yep. I, it, it would actually be kind of like cute and like maybe even regal looking. But the teeth, you know. Evil, teeth satanic. Really, really, really quite quite terrifying Bird uh, from hell. So all we need to do is just remove this thing's teeth right and then <laughs> we're good uh, it might it might have a few things uh, uh might have a few things to say about that um i'm gonna need everyone to uh roll initiative please hey -yo.
Wow, that is about as average of a group of rolls for initiative. Oops, I, I forgot to uh, select myself when I rolled. I made a roll okay. again. That's okay. I, I will. I will figure things out. I. I still. I still need to. Uh... Let eleven. Hermelda at twelve. The periton is first. Wonderful. Um and and while and while this is going on, uh Vortnim is Untying his boat. Um, uh, just so you, uh, <clears throat> this, uh, this, uh, Periton is uh, unusually large. Um, Quite uh, legendarily large, if you get my drift. Okay. Rasp uh, will act. Uh flying uh flying over uh flying over Broomhilda uh it it tucks its wings and uh and plummets plummets towards Broomhilda striking uh with a a a massive uh, uh a massive uh attack with both of its both of its uh uh, both its teeth and its horns, not horns, uh, antlers. Uh, and, uh, with the, uh... It's gonna bite me? Yes. I haven't had my rapey shot! <laughs> oh, no. Um, and, uh, and if it, if it connects the, uh, the, uh, additional speed, we'll, uh, we'll do additional damage as well. Well, that's just fabulous. That is that is a uh, a twenty six to hit. What the actual fuck? Well, yeah, you hit. And uh, that will do twenty three piercing damage as the as the uh, as the teeth at incredible speeds almost uh almost 60 miles an hour slam into your slam into your shoulder gunther you're up all right uh seeing this uh dive bomb bite attack gunther would like to use a bonus action to try and kind of understand a little bit more about this creature's tactics um, using his insightful fighting, I think I can make an insight check contested by the Perryton's deception check, and if I succeed, I can get sneak attack in most cases against it. Okay. Okay, go ahead and make that, uh... Okay, I have failed. All right, that's the bonus action. So Gunther so is. This is a. Uh, this is a uh, sneak attack. Yes, indeed, and it looks like that'll last for one minute. Uh, okay, so Gunther is going to run around, grasp <laughs> here, uh, and yeah. yeah cur currently, after after it uh, after it connected, it's uh, it's currently standing standing on the on the ground right now. 
Perfect. Uh, so Gunther's going to run around to the other side, uh, hopefully outside of line of sight. And he is going to kind of pull out a dagger and try to just stab it on in there. C catch him in his side. Okay. Attack as well. Oh, although I'm sorry, that's an eleven to hit. I'm gonna guess that probably doesn't hit. Uh, that does not hit. No. All right, we won't worry about that sneak attack. Uh, I think that is gonna be it for Gunther's turn. His palms are all sweaty. He he's struggling to hold the dagger. He's not much of a fighter. Uh, and that's how he'll end his turn. Okay. Are uh, his and... knees also weak? God, <laughs> you God. know it. You know it. He's got a sweater <laughs> on. Um. And, and as you uh, as you as you uh, finish up your attempt, uh, the it's a uh, it's massive eyes uh, and head swivel around, uh, and it. Uh, it raises one of its talons and and strikes out at you. No, 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 no. Uh, that is a twelve. No, that does not hit. All right. Uh, next up, Corin. It's you. I don't think this is going to work, but I want to give it a try anyway. Let me see how far away he is. Eh, he's close enough. Corin is going to come. Uh, Running up as far as he can. And then I am going to attempt to cast Hold Monster. So he has to succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed for a minute. Well, concentration up to a minute. And the DC is very low. Okay, we'll see if I... DC 14. I rolled a 16. It, it is wisdom, right? Yeah, wisdom. Yep, yeah, I rolled a 16. Gosh darn it. Well, it's worth a shot. And that's that's it. That's all. That's all um, I got. All right, Broomhilda, you've just taken a you've just <clears> taken <throat> a, a a massive hit to the shoulder here. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really looking all that great because I had already had taken some damage before we even ever left on this trip. So, uh, I am gonna go ahead and cast Stone Skin Elf. Oh, oh, I don't think I. Can. Well, you you should you should be, um. You should be at full full health. Uh. Between between uh, well. You you would you would have had a an opportunity to spend uh, to spend hit dice either on either on the boat or at the uh, uh, at the at the tavern. Uh, so yeah. uh, b because there there have there have been multiple uh, opportunities for short rests. Uh, so so if you if you want to go ahead and it, it, and this this goes for anyone. If anyone wants to go ahead and spend their spend their hit dice, uh, to, yeah, I to probably heal up. should. Uh, y yes, you probably should. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't notice that you were, uh, uh, that you hadn't hadn't already. I'm gonna use quite a few okay. of mine. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, fuck me. I can't use stone skin. I don't have any diamond dust. Uh. <clears throat> is is it looking at uh Gunther now? 
Uh, current currently, uh, yes, it it just uh, it just tried to uh, tried to to claw use its talons on Gunther, but missed. Uh, oh my god! Three ones. Oh my god! Yeah, Corrin. yeah, that's really oh, rough, no. Corin, <laughs> buddy. Uh, she's she's gonna yell out, uh, "Oi!" Uh, you big feathered fuck! Pick on someone your own size and like give it a slap on the ass. <laughs> and when she does so, uh, she casts inflict wounds on it. <laughs> All right. Sorry, let me decide what um what level to cast this at. We're gonna cast it at the max level I can right now, guys. And and you and you did uh you did add your um constitution, constitution. modifier to uh to those as well. Uh, remember remember to add add fifteen to that. Oh. Um be, because it's it's uh it's your your hit dice plus for every die uh you add your constitution modifier. Oh, Question. well, that's nice. Uh -huh. If you've got a negative constitution modifier, is that a subtraction? <laughs> well, I, no. I actually, I actually don't. I know. don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I would, I would say, I would say, I would say probably yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because yeah. Chat, I, because does that, anyone? That is. Does anyone in chat know the answer to this really question? Less than ten for your constitution. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh a lot god. Different than Burke. <laughs> I hope I hope you have another character rolled up because this one is not going to survive. <laughs> yeah, there's so there's okay. Look, there's okay. A lot so of my chat is roles. saying yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, that's I. That's. So if oh, you have a, a oh, negative constitution yeah. I, I modifier, curious, you subscribe. You that's subtract. Combat, but, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what's everyone's like uh, hit point maximum? <clears throat> if you want to throw that in the roll twenty chat, feel free. I'm just curious. <laughs> Oh jeez, jeez. Okay. Holy moly! Thanks, guys. Thanks. I, I, yeah. I think, I think that's kind, that's kind of normal, ish. Oh, Crafla, you're a little bit beefier than me. <laughs> Crafla, Crafla is an absolute tank. All right. It's the um, not die Okay, so stat. I'm going to cast my spell now. <laughs> it, it, really, it really is the not die stat. Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay, go ahead. Wish me luck. Oh, no. Oh god. Wow, hold on. Wait a minute. Um I'm gonna use a luck point to re-roll that. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Nice. I can't believe it's plus nine. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, okay, hey. that is that is indeed that is indeed a hit. And that uh so that that adds uh that adds twenty two uh to the uh to the ten uh to the eleven rather. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's thirty three. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to use uh one of my war priests uh points to uh, bonk him and uh, as I do this because I just grabbed him on the leg and you kind of see like this black kind of come from my hand and creep into his feathers uh, as I'm telling him to pick on someone of his own size and then I I grab my, my war hammer and I pull it back and I say did you fucking hear me and I'm just going to smack him alright Hey. That is that is a successful bonk. I hope I pissed him off enough. <laughs> we don't uh, you, need you, him you. beating up Gunther, that's for fucking sure. He's got fucking ten hit points. 
<laughs> if that, uh, you are you are very you are very correct. You are very correct. If that if that hit if that uh, if that hit connected, it would have been very bad. All right, all right. Anything else for Brumilda? No, that's it. All right, you did you did a absolutely massive chunk of uh, the Perryton's health, uh, and uh, it is upset. Craftla, you are up. All right, Craftla is going to shuffle forward the uh, 25 feet that he is able to shuffle. And then he will raise his hands up as uh, vines and other greenish tentacly uh, graspers of plant matter come out of the ground and uh, attempt to entangle the uh, the periton. Okay. So the spell save DC of uh, 17 strength against that. Okay. Frank. All right, it is. Uh, it is going to go ahead and pass that. Ooh. All right, that's it for me. Okay, it is the Perryton's turn, uh, and. Uh, going to uh, beat its massive wings and and uh, as as you uh, as you kind of like uh, shield your shield your eyes uh, from uh, from uh, from the dust and particulates uh, uh, it's already it's already in the air. And you're uh, unable to have an opportunity attack against it. As it uh, as it kind of flies flies above, uh, hovers hovers above you guys, uh, probably about probably about thirty feet up in the air. Um, you you uh, as as it. As its shadow, as its shadow passes along the ground next to you, uh, you feel, you feel just a deep sense of dread come over you. I'm gonna need everyone to make a wisdom saving throw. <clears throat> Okay, Corin and Krafla, you are now uh, uh, cursed to the bones with the chill of uh, of this uh, uh, <laughs> with the chill of its shadow. Uh, every time, every time you make an attack, uh, an ability check, or a saving throw. You uh, you have to roll a d4 and subtract that number from from the roll. Uh, this is uh, uh, you can you can repeat this saving throw at the end of your turn. Uh, uh, Brumhilda and Gunther, you uh, you are not cursed. Uh, so the Periton is currently uh, 30 feet up in the air. Gunther, you are after, up. After that very close attack that it made on Gunther, he's going to pull out a shield in his other hand, um, <laughs> put away his dagger, and start pulling, looking for a thread to pull on on the robe. <laughs> Uh, he's going to pull one of the stars off of his robe of stars and just fire it straight up uh, at Rasp. And I believe Magic Missile at 5th level should be 74 plus 7. And it automatically hits. It does automatically hit. Uh, yes. 
74 plus 1. So. 74 plus 7. Wow, oh, wheeze. <laughs> Pretty middle 20, of That's not bad. 23 damage. Fuck that flying rat. And Gunther's gonna start running for it. Is there any place to hide underneath the dock over here? Like, if he gets pretty far down, maybe? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're, we're currently, we're currently at, uh, pretty low tide. So, so there's, there's probably, uh, like pretty close to 10, 10 feet, uh, underneath the, uh, underneath the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, pier. Cool. So <laughs> Gunther will kind of fire that magic missile up and while it's reeling from that, he's just going to go dashing. Um, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Is that far enough out? Sure. Uh, and would like to use his bonus action to hide uh, as a cunning action. Sure, sure. Uh, uh, hide behind one of the uh, one of the piers. One of the pylons. Is that called? Yes, indeed. Watch Did you get uh, badly hit, Gunther, or are you just trying to avoid getting badly hit? I am trying to avoid. Uh, I I'm like an aluminum can. I'll get ripped open just as easy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, is that it for Gunther? That's it for Gunther. Um, at the... Uh, at the end of your... Uh, at the end of your turn... Uh, the Periton is going to uh, going to come back down, and make a strike against uh, against Brumhilda. No, uh, no additional damage this time. Wasn't quite high enough to do that. He's gonna fly down and smack with the. Uh, with one of his talons. That is 18. Uh, Brimhilda is going to a shield of faith. Oh, I can't do that. That's a bonus action, not a reaction. A yeah, Why did I think that was action. a reaction? There's one that's I, a reaction. I think that's just shield. I am going to Yeah, you're right. Expend oh. two sorcery points and use bend luck to make you roll a d4 and subtract that from your attack roll. Oof. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so the, uh, that is uh, down to 16. I got a 16 AC. All right. Um... I really like the ninja. Okay, sorry, I was looking for a stealth icon. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's good. That's good enough. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll say uh, yeah. That's a that's a big big old miss there. Uh, Corin, you're up. Sorcery points. Spent. Wait, hold hold up. Your what's your AC? Sixteen. And you hit a sixteen. That that means it hits. Um, I, uh, I added, right. I added incorrectly. Uh, no, it, so it was, it was six, no, it was 16 down to 14. And then got reduced. Okay. Okay. Never yeah. I was looking at uh, the wrong number. Corin is going to do his tried and true and hopefully successful thing of casting haste and then using... Uh, pretty much all the rest of his sorcery points to use twin spell and uh, apply the haste benefits to Broomhilda and to Craftla because Burke doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rip. R.I.P. Yeah. R.I.P. for yeah. Burke. And then Korn is going to do the same thing that Gunther did, except I'm just going to kind of shimmy my way this way and then underneath <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. my spot my spot <laughs> okay. 
so. Haste time. And that is my turn. Romilda, you are hasted. Woo! Oh, we love a good haste. Um, how's this uh, bird looking? Uh, bird is looking quite wounded. Um, probably uh, uh, an, some punishment, some punishment like uh, uh, like he's received up to this point so far, and he'd be down. All right. Uh, I'm going to hit him with my Warhammer. That is a hit. <clears throat> uh, because of haste, I am going to start with my Warhammer. Okay. Try not to roll so shitty this time. What are these rolls? Uh, that is a miss. Oh my god. Well, I guess I'll use a War Priest point and I will attempt to smack him once more with my Warhammer. Bit better. Uh, that's, a, that's a hit. Alright, that's all I got for this round. Alright. Good hits. Uh, Craflo, you're up with haste. All right, since um, Brumhilda was swinging at this thing, I assume it's no longer thirty feet in the air. Uh, yes, yeah, it it flew uh, it flew down. Okay, it flew down and uh, and attacked outside of its turn. All right, that thing is uh, pretty frightening, um, but I'm going to uh, uh, keep myself from taking a step back and instead open up my. Uh, my jar of wasps, sort of shooing them towards the uh, the paraton as they emerge and become giant wasps. All right. So, five giant wasps. Sting! Sting the fucker! All right, wasp time. I think I have a handout for this. I've used these guys before. Oh. Sting, sting. Sting, sting, sting. Okay, first one is a hit. Second one is a hit. Third one is a hit. And fourth and fifth are both misses. Holy shit. 12 points. Okay. Uh, so that's uh, 15. 23, 32. Uh, calculating that as 48. With <laughs> lots of stings, uh, <clears throat> lots of stings. Uh, the periton, uh, uh, oh, is is that uh, is that it for you? Is it still uh, up? It is still up. All right. If it is still up, then I will. Uh, Use my haste to use a magic uh, item and uh, unleash a barrage of mass magic missiles at it. Ooh. <laughs> and I don't okay. have I don't have a link for that, um, but I think it's just three d four plus three. Yes, yes. At a 
Oh shit! Nice. Ooh. Nice roll. That, <laughs> that 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 takes it down. That takes it down. Yeah, it turns out uh, that's a uh, more than more than sixty damage. Uh, that that takes it down. Uh, as stung, stung and and slammed with uh uh with these uh with these wasps and the taking taking what uh 11 magic missiles uh <laughs> uh it it falls rasp is uh rasp is slain I'm guessing from that save roll that I feel a little bit better. Did Vortnum uh, yeah. manage to get off the dock and leave? Uh, looking for Vortnum, uh, you do not see Vortnum <laughs> anymore. That dude's fast. It's been like 18 seconds. It has been. Uh, Vortnum, uh, Vortnum, well, it's, it's also getting kind of dark. Um, I bet he could be at 90, 100 feet away by now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brumhilda leans forward and uh, plucks one of the like larger feathers, the more um, ornate feathers off of him, and uh, kind of weaves it into one of her her braids, almost like hat feathers sticking off her head. And she looks very proud of this. <laughs> As you should. As you should be. Gunther will kind of warily peek around the pier and say, "Is is is it dead?" Oh, it's dead, all right. Graflo prods the thing with his boot. I'm imagining it's already sort of starting to swell up from all the uh, poison that's been injected <laughs> into it. Kind of like a Macaulay Culkin, uh, my girl situation happening here. What? <laughs> <laughs> you guys said your references. <laughs> what is that? What is that even supposed to mean? Um. Yeah, it it definite it definitely is. Um. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I would probably advise against e eating this meat as it is currently. <laughs> Filled to the brim with wasp venom. You ruined dinner. That was gonna be dinner. With Gunther's uh, background, I would say it's still a pretty tough decision for him. <laughs> <coughs> I, I. All right, all right, Mister Constitution. Oh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> it, it's a tough decision. <laughs> I mean, he'll have a nibble. He'll have a nibble, right? He'll have, he'll, he'll... You're not going to nibble on raw meat. Absolutely not. He'll just take a slice off for later. He'll, he'll give it a try later. <laughs> Alright, add... Be sure and add <laughs> poisoned periton meat to your inventory, please. Absolutely. <laughs> Is there anything like special or striking about uh, Rasp? Um. Well, besides it's, beside it being a periton, um, uh, as you as you get as you get closer, um, to to its uh, antlers, you realize they're. Uh, well, I, first off, they're they're very large, um, uh, just a 
Probably a, a stuffed periton uh, would be like in the uh, uh, in the like one or two thousand gold range. Uh, like it's, it's, it's a very, it's a very rare beast. Um, and it, and it really is quite a, quite a beast to behold. Um, and if, if you could, if you could get it back to the mainland, I'm, I'm sure, uh, someone would, would pay dearly for it. But is there so anything like specifically defining, uh, to him as rasp that like sets him apart from other peritons other than being very large um uh no not not uh not really N nothing that you can see okay so what you're saying is we killed one of possibly the few remaining peritons that exist in the world <laughs> But he shouldn't have been such an asshole now, should he have? <laughs> All right, well, while you guys ponder over this giant bird that we killed, uh, I'm going to head inside and see if they have some kind of dinner. I'll, uh, I'll be right dinner? back. Dinner? Yeah, dinner. I forgot all about it. I forgot about it because this big fucking bird. She just like uh, runs very quickly as fast as her tiny little legs will take her in the direction of dinner. <laughs> Save me a drink if they got one. Oh, it's never very good well, at saving dude. drinks. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do my best. Why does this place give me the same feelings as uh, the alchemist's house? Uh, probably because it's the same artist. I'm. I'm. I'm... <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> that's that's really funny. <clears throat> um. Uh. So here, uh, in archway in the fortress outer wall provides access to a large courtyard now filled with vegetable gardens and a small orchard of stunted apples that's uh, that's these oh i gotta get my select tool. that's these uh, these things over here um stairs to the east uh, th this is uh north south east west normal um stairs to the east um and west lead up to the walkways overlooking the yard um, to the southwest, the base of the bell tower is obscured by thick growths of vines, which also shroud the west stairs. Uh, a set of double doors stands along the front of the hermitage on the far side of the garden. And appears to be the only way inside. Uh, Vroomhilda wastes no time just like running up to the doors and like pushing on them to get inside. Okay. So you know, after a minute, haste ends, and you feel lethargic for a round. So I'm assuming that haste ends because of how long we were... <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, say, we'll say it's right as you get to the door, and you, <laughs> you, you just, like, feel like you want to collapse. I've never been more hungry in my life. Um, you uh, kind of collapse against the door, um, and uh, and it doesn't budge. Oh, I'm famished! Let me in! She's just shouting from outside. I heard the dinner bell. Let me in! <laughs> Graflo will, uh, sort of <laughs> sagging to one knee as the lethargy sweeps over him, mutter to his wasps, uh, go circle, uh, the house and the tower, 
and uh, tell me if you find or see anything. Mm -hmm. Brumhilda thinks that he's talking to her and looks at him and goes, I can't get up. I can't do anything. I can't. It's, don't tell me what to do anyways. <laughs> okay. And, and, uh, you, you don't, you don't have, you don't have a shared, shared site with them. Um, no, I don't. Just I don't a, share their site. I just can. I can issue the commands. They obey, and I can speak with animals. So mm -hmm. they need to come okay. back, and uh, I can't B buzz, magically see buzz them. in your yeah. Ear. <laughs> I can't see through them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. So they uh, they'll they'll go uh, they'll go off uh, and and return uh, return a little bit later. Um. Yeah, the there there seems to be no uh, no response on the other side of the door. While those wasps are circling, Gunther's just gonna look over Rasp's body real quick and see if there are any notable bolt wounds. He's thinking back to that story that Fortnan told them about the hunter. Uh, no, no, you 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 only see uh. Uh, you only see the damage from uh, from from your your attack. Okay. Got the roll. No. Jog and catch up with the, with the group. Okay. How long does this uh, lethargy last? One year. It's six seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just just momentary. I assume as it passes, she's like back up and pushing on the door and like like pounding <laughs> on it with her little fists. Okay. I have I have a thought. <clears throat> Broomhilda, did you try also pulling on the door? Is there a handle? Uh there is. Ah, uh, you're a clever one, aren't you? Then she like grabs the handle and tries to pull on it. Uh, door doesn't budge. There was worth a shot. Hates. Say, Gunther, you don't happen to be adept at opening <clears throat> doors that aren't meant to be opened. What's the door made of? Uh, the door is wooden. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'd be a. Uh, I, I don't know if uh, depth's quite the right word, but I, I can try my hand at. Is it, uh, is it locked? Is there a lock on it? Uh, looking at it, you do not see a lock. I've done my part. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the building made of? Uh, the building is made up of uh, of stone. It is a stone building. Uh, Broomhilda shifts over. And she says, a Stand aside. I have this. <laughs> and I'm going to cast Stone Shape. Oh my God. I'm just going to make a hole in the wall. Oh my God. Nothing's getting between you and your dinner. <laughs> exactly. Nothing. Exactly. I'm funny, I so hungry. On the you're, door. you're making you're making a hole right there, right yep. in front of you. Yep. Oh god, that's the load bearing wall. Right there. <laughs> okay. I never wanted dinner more in my life. Oh shit. One 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 second. Let me I need I need to I need <laughs> <laughs> okay, one sec, one sec. Like, <laughs> wait, how many spiders? Oh, I, I broke, I broke Hoppy's <laughs> brain trying to just push through a I, wall because I'm a little yeah, crazy I, potato. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I I really didn't. You didn't, didn't expect me to be that desperate. I didn't expect, I didn't expect you to go through this, the wall. Uh, well, this seems like a bit of an intelligent play for Broomhilda. Uh. No I mean, it, it, it's brute force. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit brute. Man, it's fair. God, open this door for me. Okay. All right. It 
would be uh, yeah. intelligent if she like ex like inspected everything before doing this. She literally just shifted over and went, "Well, that stone, I can get through that. Let's do it." It's not like this is part of an ambush. She's just trying to get to the kettle, right? <laughs> to the yeah, stew pot or whatever. Shared the fucking dinner yeah. bell, man. Uh, a uh, a uh, a five foot. Uh, a five foot hole uh, opens up. What the fuck <laughs> is this? That's incredible. <laughs> okay. Uh, cobwebs shroud this apparently abandoned room. <laughs> Called obscuring, it. <laughs> obscuring three arrow slits on the west wall. A ladder bolted to the east wall leads to a trap door in the ceiling. Oh my word! This place is a fucking maze. So, so if you if you uh, if you look through the arrow slits, uh huh, and, and you they're 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 pretty big. They're designed to to put arrows through. Uh, you can see uh, the other room. Uh, pieces of broken planking and debris. Reinforce the damaged north doors of this room, uh, whose floor and walls are splattered by bloodstains. A twisted padlock lies at the foot of the north doors. Um, and the south doors have been uh, nearly ripped from their hinges. Wow. Uh, the wall across from you uh, displays uh, patches uh, where similar arrow slits used to be, but now have been uh, cemented over. Uh, Brumhilda disregards uh, the obvious and still believes that somewhere there's dinner inside of here, and she starts climbing the ladder. <laughs> no thoughts. Empty, head empty. Okay. Uh, let me... Let me make sure. <laughs> Clearly there's okay, dinner me, somewhere, guys. Uh, pull everyone to uh, so so you're you are climbing uh climbing up? Yeah, definitely climbing up. Okay. Uh as you as you get to the top of the ladder. Uh, the, you'll, <laughs> you find that the, uh, the, uh, trap door opens, uh, opens pretty, uh, pretty easily. Cool. Probably not, but, you know, it's wishful uh, thinking. And let me grab everyone. I was, right. well, let me grab you. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm not going to assume <laughs> that everyone else is coming up. I like that Gunther is following me. Nope. Nope. Gunther's <laughs> taking a beat. All right. Uh, this is... Uh, arrow slits set along the walls of this chamber make it a bit drafty. <laughs> uh, murder, murder holes open up in the center of the floor, uh, overlooking the entryway into the level below. A fireplace is set into the south wall with a dusty iron kettle close by. A trapdoor is set into the floor at either end of this chamber. Wait, so there's there's so, a fireplace with a kettle in this room. It's the kettle is close by. The, in the fireplace. And right. Yeah, I go to it. I approach it. Okay. Is it this? Yep. That the fire. Okay. And uh, and and you can, uh, if you're if you're squatting if you're squatting down, uh, you can you can see through. Oh, also also you'll you you would be able to see out out these out these arrow slits. Okay. 
Yeah, um, I'm like squatting down and I'm looking in the kettle. Is there anything okay, in there? So it, it is. It is a. Uh, it is a, a two-sided. Two-sided kind of oh. deal here. So once you once you squat down and uh, look at the kettle here, uh, there's so there there's a a partial wall divides uh, this chamber. I'm talking about talking about the next uh, the next chamber through the uh, 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 through this uh, kind of fireplace. Um, uh, a partial wall divides this chamber into two sections. Two arrow slits are set into the west wall, and a small fireplace stands to the north. Um, several tables crowd the room, all covered with sheaves of paper, quills, ink pots, candles, and a few bound books. Um, numerous uncomfortable-looking stools stand up around them. One of the ink pots has been overturned, <clears> resulting <throat> in a large black stain on one tabletop. Yeah, but what's in the kettle? Uh, the kettle is empty. I have just an utter look of defeat on my face. And I go back to the hatch. And I call down. It's a false alarm! There's a food! It's a false alarm! False alarm! Gonna have to eat a ration. <laughs> and she's just gonna sit against the wall, and pull out a ration, and start munching on it. <laughs> she's still, still in the in the battlements above. Yeah. Okay. All right. What is what else? Is everyone doing? I'll 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 bring uh, I'll bring the the view back down to the first floor. I think Gunther, his mind starts working as soon as he sees. The scene through the arrow slits. Um, can he just take a beat? And this can take as long as as it needs to to understand what exactly happened in this room, uh, specifically what caused the damage to the north and south doors. If it was the same, if it was different. Okay, go go ahead and make an uh, investigation check at disadvantage since you're sure. looking through an arrow slit. Absolutely. I'm kind of inclined inclined towards one of the staircases myself. Okay. Um. Oh, fuck ten. So um. Well. Uh, so so you you can through through the through the arrow slit you can uh, you can see that this this door was uh barricaded um there were there was uh the obvious obvious signs of a a struggle pretty recently uh the blood the the blood doesn't seem to be uh, ages old it seems to be maybe maybe a day old uh at the at the uh, at the latest, but yeah, that the the wood the wood around uh, that door uh, seems to be have put there purposefully, uh, with the intention of closing that door. And was there any damage on the outside of that north door when we approached? Uh, no. There was no uh, there was no uh, no damage to the outside of the door. Uh, there was there was damage to the. Uh, uh, you, you may you may have heard me say damage door uh, I, that that is in reference to the south door the south door does have uh some from some pretty significant scratches in it oh okay maybe I mixed that up my apologies no 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 you're uh, good you're good okay and the south door is also the one that's almost been ripped off its hinges yes yes cool um Last question on on my end for right now, just to, as Gunther's kind of going through his mental checklist here, would those scratches look anything like the Perryton's paws, or, or or the the wounds that that thing could have caused, the damage that thing could have caused? No, with, with a seventeen, you you know uh, almost for certain that this was not caused by a Perryton attack. Perfect. Just had to cross that T. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, he'll he'll share information with the group, just saying, "Hey, y'all, it um, you know, I, I'm not getting a good look <clears throat> through this arrow slit, but from what it looks like over there, something happened here, maybe a day ago. It, it doesn't look good, y'all." I wonder if someone beat us to, uh, well, whatever we're here to do. I like barricade. Barricade is not sneak out the back in a boat. Yeah. That bodes well for us. It does. I'm... Why yes, would you barricade? Why, why would you barricade something? Wouldn't it make sense for you to barricade a door if something was attacking from the other side? Yes. You could also barricade the door uh, if you were <clears throat> hypothetically trying to make sure no one who was there before you could escape and that's what worries me yeah room hilda be be careful up there please oh i'm quite i'm quite fine now i got food in me i might just head up and make sure we were all buddied up uh Probably just a, a... It's probably nothing, but... Yeah, come on up! There's nobody up here! It's just me! She's yelling. Y'all good with that? Uh, Gunther's, like, poking his head through the stone-shaped hole. <laughs> looking at Crap Blood for Yeah. I like to think it's, like, a, a Broomhilda shape. Yeah, yeah like, precisely <laughs> Broomhilda shape. Uh, like, any, anyone, like, it's wide enough that everybody could get through, but the tall people are really gonna have to duck. <laughs> Krafla is, as you're reaching out to sort of check with Krafla, you just sort of see him <clears throat> um, for lack of a better term fondling the front door everything okay over there? does the front door feel perfectly smooth or does it feel like there have been like battering or anything like that done to it no no there there's there's no there's no damage to the to uh, that side of the door it feels absolutely untouched, not as if anything had bashed into it. I don't feel even little dense. Craftless steps away from the door and sort of looks up at the sky, awaiting the return of his uh, wasps. Gunther will mm -hmm. head up and just buddy up with Broomhilda. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's, yeah, we we can we can have the uh, the wasps. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let me see. What is the wasps' passive perception? Ten. Do they, ha do they have a passive perception? Okay. Ten. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'll just all. I will. Yeah, and you said over off to the east, or was it off to the west? Uh, there are five of them, so I want them circling the house. Oh, circling the, the whole thing. The, yep. Yeah, every every direction, <clears throat> including uh, at least one up around the uh, the bell tower. Yeah, I will go ahead and uh, just. Go ahead and reveal reveal what they would have seen
Uh, and and when they uh, when they went up to the uh, bell tower, uh, there was um, there was no one up there. Where did you say that you went, uh, Gunther? I am up the ladder with Broomhilda, just making sure we've yeah. all got a buddy. <clears throat> yeah, there's 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 a there's a ladder there's a ladder on this uh, on this wall here that goes up to a uh, trap door. All right, as uh, Corn sees me, sort of listening and and maybe buzzing a little bit at my wasps. Um, you see a frown uh, come over my face as I hear them presumably, you know, tell me about this, what looks like this little boat off on the uh, south island, south side of the uh, the island. Um, and uh, he, uh, he sort of uh, leans over to Corrin and says, I think there might actually be a uh, escape route on the south side of the island after all. Um, well, that's problematic. Yeah, I want to circle around the house and uh, check it out. Um, do you come, yeah. uh, come with me yeah, or join should you. we grab the, yeah. uh, the others? Yeah, the, uh, <clears throat> this... Uh... Uh, this this part this part uh, seems to be uh, probably the easiest way uh, through uh, from what your uh, from what your wasps uh, have experienced. Uh, yeah. So, like, I think I'm. Can I ping the map? I'm not sure if I'm pinging the map or not. But that that northeast corner. Can we like slip around that there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, yeah. Uh, it uh, originally, originally no, uh, but uh, it seems to be like maybe some some recent uh, recent pickaxing, pick ax is that sure? Recent picking uh, has uh, has opened up this passageway. Yeah, so I want to be heading around there, and again, sort of skirting down around towards those uh those rear stairs those on the south side of the uh the building i think <clears throat> i think we could we can check it out on check it out on our own and if if we run into trouble i'm sure if we yell loud enough room hilda won't hesitate to come because you know <laughs> fighting <clears throat> all right you hear that dear if you hear us screaming it's not because we found a plate of cakes but uh let me know if you find cake too <laughs> i really don't think we should be yelling all, all this much uh j I, 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 and I, I hear you gunther <laughs> i really do <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like our cover was blown when the bell tolled at our arrival and we fought the giant bird out front. You know what? That's an absolutely fair point, Gunther yells back. Absolutely fair. And so around the corner we go. Ever vigil of traps and hazards and enemies. And any what? plates of cakes that might and be stumbled across. Did you say cake? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let me read the next... Uh, along the 
along the north edge. Uh, no, along the eastern edge of the courtyard, uh, the wall of the fortress uh, once abutted the larger of the island's rocky hills, but that hillside has been hewn away to create this passage. Now, there's a low, uh, unfinished stone wall uh, that encloses a broad, sandy yard abutting an open vista of beach and sea. Uh, a small tower, uh, so that's, uh, that's this thing, a small tower accessible by an external stair rises against the hermitage's eastern wall. Several scrubby brushes... Get, yeah, uh, several scrubby bushes stand to the north of a large oval pool at the center of the yard. So this, um, so this, this, this wall, this wall is, is very similar to the wall that you just, uh, that you just experienced. However, it's, uh, it's probably like a third, a third of the size. It is, uh, not even, well, for some of you, well, actually for both of you, it's going to be about a chest high wall. <laughs> What's this uh, thing that kind of looks like a tower directly to the south of us? Uh, it is a thing that looks kind of like a tower to the south of you. Would oh. you like to go in? No. <laughs> I, I, I'm really concerned about that boat, but I want to come back to it. So I'm probably walking like down here and just sort of giving the pool a, uh, a glance mm. as I walk by towards the... Uh, Sort of that southern corner. Yep. It, it seems to be a uh, seems to be a cistern. Um, it's uh, it's about seven feet deep. Um, can't can't see the bottom. Um, but any fish? Uh, no, no. It's it's for it's for water. Uh, for rainwater. Fish live in water. What? It's for drinking water. What do you think? You fish drink. God, I died. <laughs> <laughs> so so done. Amazing. So done. Oh. I love you, Hobby. Then you miss us, Hobby. What'd you do all that time without us tormenting I, you? I, I was untormented. That's that's what I was. Sounds so boring. Yeah, very boring, very boring. Okay. So yeah, I'm making my way down towards where I put my little dude. I'm not entirely sure what uh, uh, Broomhilda and Gunther are up to while we're skirting around this stuff. Um, yeah, we'll 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 go we'll go back to them. Um, Broomhilda, Gunther. Yeah. Um. What uh? What's uh? What's going on in the in the food land? Well, we ate, and I shared because I'm nice and sharing is caring. Right. <clears throat> Gunther uh, offered five ball bearings in return. Broomhilda stares at him and says, "Ah." Uh, what am I going to do with those? Good distractions, if nothing else. Uh, I'm very brave. I don't need to be distracted to nobody. I just fight them if I need to. You keep your ball bearings. Alright, alright. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep my ball bearings. I wouldn't mind selling for a little smooch, though. Maybe we could work that out later. <laughs> she, like, gives him, oh like, a, a wink and then, to, like, stands up and... <laughs> You were friends with my dad, right? Yeah, we're just, oh my God. We're just friends. But nothing like romantical or anything like that. Just friends, you know? Gunther starts sweating. <laughs> do you, do you want to um, take a look around, maybe? Yeah, will you move us back to the other uh, map, Hobby? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. This is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just had to ring some sort of dinner bell sound and shit. Sounds like your uh, he's fault. He's still suffering through the fish thing. <laughs> Okay, so uh, this fireplace, can I, am, is it wide enough for me to crawl through? Uh, uh, not, no, not really. How much dinner did you eat? Just one ration. But I can see through it, I can't crawl through it? Correct. Uh, how big is this hole? I, like... Uh, like a foot, like a foot wide. Well, why is it there? Uh, so, so there's, there's one, so you only have one chimney. Hobby's passing the torment on to us now. Uh, do I see, is there, is this a door over here? Is this a door? That is a door. Yes, that is a door. Okay, then. I have push on the door. Um... Let me see if it opens. <laughs> <laughs> Look into your heart. If that's a D2, we're definitely seeing some Midvale school for the gifted stuff. <laughs> Man, that would be one hell of a campaign roll for literally everything. Every door. D2. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yes, uh, this door... Uh opens and I will reveal what is on the other side no that's what is wrong with is it doing the like dark in instead of light there it is yeah yeah kept, Super kept doing when it. it does that all right so <clears throat> as you come through Stairs rise to a railed balcony uh, that covers uh, two walls of this large vaulted chamber. The balcony stands ten feet above the floor with heavy crossbeams above reinforcing the twenty-foot-high slate-tiled ceiling. Here and there, missing ceiling tiles have been covered over with thatch. A large, rusty metal tub and a broken wooden frame stand near the staircase. Um, this, uh, this would be, well, this is kind of, this is kind of visible. Like the, the ghostly, the ghostly image of it is right there. I don't know. Okay. It's like yeah. Kind of like blurry, blurry and out of focus because <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's on the, it's on the other, uh, it's downstairs. Yes, it's downstairs. Um, uh, so a large rusty metal tub and a broken wooden frame stand near the staircase. The floor shows splatters of blood and obvious signs of a recent scuffle. Okay, uh, Broomhilda's going to start heading down down the stairs to the, uh, the bottom level so she can go open up the front door. And Javi, you said the blood was on the staircase? Uh, no, in in that room, in that room. Uh, so what? Wait one second, one second, because you're you're passing through. Okay, there so so here there is another uh this uh this this balcony this this is clearly a balcony here uh and it oh, it uh, uh it opens along to a uh an absolutely shattered uh dining room table um this balcony is very shoddy. Very shoddy, though. Um, it, a clear... 
<laughs> clear edition, a recent edition, not not done with uh, any amount of of craftsmanship. Um, oh, I was not supposed to. There's that is barricaded. There is a door there. Forget that I showed you that. So there's a little <laughs> barricade right over there. There is a... No, just a door. Oh, just a door. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, down... Oh, okay. Da okay, I'm going to move you move you down to the... <laughs> down to the first floor again. For the sake of ease, Gunther will be right behind Broomhilda. Mm-hmm. No, make it harder. He he he. <laughs> Gunther goes to the third floor. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go up to these doors, which I assume is uh, the front door. And I'm gonna try to push these open. What what these these are the ones that are like barely hanging on their uh, hinges. Oh, yep. oh, so Be I can just walk right through them? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, I shoulder right through. Uh, as as you shoulder right through them, they fall off their hinges. I Gunther pay no mind to them. He tries to catch at least one of them before they clatter to the ground. At least make a sled <laughs> hand check. <I'm>, or... <laughs> sled hand. Sure. Sled hand. All right, you, yeah, you catch them. You catch them. Uh, they they still make a little bit of a sound. You're, but they don't they don't massively clatter. Gunther's just thinking to himself that there there's got to be something in here, and while their cover was likely blown, hopefully whatever's in here doesn't know their exact location. As as much as he can do to keep from providing that kind of information to someone else, he's gonna try. Yeah, right. well, Broomhilda's already started just picking up uh, the this, this stuff that's in the way and just tossing it to the side. Just yeah, it, it, the these uh, these things are uh, are nailed to the to the to the door. So I am you'll... attempting to pull them off the door. Uh, right. Come on! Right. Go ahead and make a <laughs> make a strength check. You can use athletics. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. <laughs> Holy moly! All right. Uh, yeah, you, they uh, they seem to be maybe a little bit uh, hastily uh, hastily attached, uh, and uh, and you're you're able to find a, find a a a good uh, a good handhold, and you just rip uh, rip all of the uh, barricades off. Awesome. Uh, and. Uh, now, uh, now I'm I'm sure the door would open. Yeah, I I attempt to open the door now. But it, it opens. I step out, and I I call. I can't see my my other companions, but I call. I say, uh, "Oi, right, we got the door open. You come in now." I I don't think that they would be able to hear you. Are you sure I'm really loud? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I if you if you're yell if you're yelling if you're yelling loudly, they they would be able to hear you. Yeah, she's like but, shouting. Oh, oh she's because she okay. doesn't see them immediately, so she's shouting. All right, per yeah. usual, uh, she kind of yes. just shout talks anyways. All right, Broomhilda, you hear. You, you can't exactly hear what what she's trying to say, but you do hear Broomhilda's shouts coming from the other side of the of the building. Uh, uh, corn. Well, it sounds like they got the door open, but I'm I'm still a lot more concerned about the uh, the boat. Hmm. 
All right, I just want to get a look at this corner, and then we can head back and, and see what Brumhild is on about. Um, but tell me about where this corner like meets up with this wall and the stairs right here. Uh, th this seems to be just a uh, just another entrance. Um, uh, small small uh, small stone stairs uh, uh, lead up from a uh, from a from actually a pretty pretty nice beach um, scattered with a, a few pieces of driftwood um, against a uh, uh, leads to a, a, a small a smaller door than than on the other side all right one one, uh, one door instead of a, a double door I will uh, toss my staff of the Python down on the ground here. Uh, speak the command word and um, command it to uh, grapple and restrain anyone who tries to come out of this door and uh, head down t you know towards the beach or towards um, that boat who is not uh, like me or my companions sure. and then I will head back around uh, the way I came towards the north side of the building You gonna look in the tower? No, I gotta make sure that like Brumhilda is not either being brutally murdered or found cake that she may or may not share with me. Definitely not sharing cake with you. Don't All worry. Right. If I get if I get cake, I'll split what she shares with me in half. All right. As you uh, as you uh, as you come back around, uh, Brumhilda is uh, is waiting. Brumhilda, uh, they uh, <laughs> they appear uh, around the other corner. Yeah, by the time they're back around, I'm already, like, I just, like, shrugged and walked back inside. Like, <laughs> I have the attention span of a fucking goldfish. Uh, and I'm, I'm, like, I'm just hanging out with Gunther, following him around now. Like, what, what you doing? Where are we going? What are we looking at? Think we can find a kitchen? <laughs> I, 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 um... If you hang out here for just a minute for me, I'm gonna just take a quick, quiet peek around the corner. So you want me to go in first? Here. I'm very brave, very strong, uh, and she like flexes an arm at him. <laughs> I'll take point on this one. I think there was a door around the corner though, the other side. If you want to take a look in there real quick, a door on the other side near the stairs, I think. In the stairs. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I could do that. Divide and conquer. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having a really hard time not laughing. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever you say. <laughs> She's gonna oh like... That <laughs> flirtatious room Hilda comes out. Hey, Hunter, man. Are, are you playing the quiet game with the battle cleric? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I feel All like right. you're playing a risky game, whatever it is. <laughs> All right, Gunther, as you uh, as you send uh, as you send Brumhilda <laughs> back around the other way, uh, you're uh, you're faced with uh, you're faced with a door. Um, this uh, this door does have a lock. Okay, um, Gunther would like to be about as quiet as he can be uh, about as. You know, he's pulling up the hood on the robe of stars. He's trying to blend into the shadow as much as he can. From uh, Hilda calls back to you very loudly. I sure you don't need any help. <laughs> Gunther does not say a word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll pull out his lock picking tools and try to get to work over here. All right. Go ahead and make a make your dex dex check. Okay. Dex check. This would include proficiency bonus, I think. Is that right? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, proficiency. Your your dex your dex modifier and your uh, proficiency bonus. Oh oh okay. Oh dang! Don't, don't mind the plus one dex modifier for a rogue. It, don't mind that. 
I what in the I, actual? I, I hate this character so. Much. I don't <laughs> even have words. Um, uh, yeah, the uh, the 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 lock uh, the lock opens uh, very quickly, very quickly. Um, uh, as you as you open the door, uh, it is it is pretty uh, back back. Uh, as the as the sun's setting, uh, this is back into a hallway. It's getting kind of dark, and and uh, you you really can't uh, you can't see super far into the uh, uh, into the room as you open the door. But uh, this damp, dark tower room. Smells of rot and mildew. The floor glistens with puddles of water and trickles of moisture dribble down the wall to the west and to the south. What might, what once might have been barrels and crates stacked against the walls have decayed into nearly unidentifiable heaps of mold. Gunther is not going to enter the room because this this seems odd, especially if people were here within the last day or so. Um, he is going to just kind of listen and see if he can hear any wind, any reason why the things in this chamber would be more decayed than anything else he's seen in this place so far. Uh, it is uh, it's very wet. You uh, at listening for a little while, you can you can hear uh, a pr a pretty steady drip. Okay, so this could be like a, a leaky roof or something like that. Um, Gunther will. Uh, he's got higher wisdom than Burke does. Burke would have run into the room. Gunther's going to turn back and, and come back to the room. Okay. All right, right, right about this time is is probably when uh, um, Corn and Craftler are, are <laughs> go uh, see see the the door left of jo left ajar, almost almost certainly, um, and uh, step over step over the uh, the discarded uh, barricade, and uh, every the the gang is back together. I think. If Broomhilda is searching in this room and it's not currently in sight, Gunther's just gonna hold up one finger and beckon Krafla and Corin over. Yeah, I I don't know if I I could get into this door, but if I can, yep. she would have been in there. Yep. Very exciting room. Is um, this the kitchen? It is the kitchen. Oh fuck yeah! This this kitchen shows signs of recent use and is fairly clean. A kettle is suspended above, above a large fireplace, and a brick oven stands nearby. A cutting block bearing half a loaf of bread stands in the center of the room, next to an empty table. Uh, shelves for holding dishes and utensils line the east wall. Uh, yeah, there's a yeah, there is a there is a there is a kettle currently on the fireplace. Do I see any food? Like, is there food? Uh, there, there's a, there's a loaf, half of a loaf of bread, uh, on, on this, uh, on this, on this, uh, center, center chopping block. I found some bread! She, but, like, it's like, I found some bread! <laughs> Cause she's eating it. <laughs> she's it's saying the, it. The bread, the bread is pretty stale. Oh! That's fine. She uh, she doesn't judge the bread. Uh, the it's it's almost like the bread has been out for about a day. That's fine. Okay. Uh, she's swigging from uh her water skin filled with ale as she's eating the bread. Uh, so it's like it's like creating like a paste in her mouth. <laughs> she likes it. Disgusting. It's like a yeasty paste. <laughs> That is so <laughs> so nasty. <laughs> what 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 has what has possessed you to share that? 
Okay. I'm just being descriptive. I believe clearly. that's my job as a player. <laughs> yep, that's yeah. true. <laughs> I am I am deeply unnerved by the by the yeast paste. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Anything uh anything else you do in this room? No, I'm just snacking on 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 the bread. On I'm just the, eating it. Yep. Stale bread. All right. Yep. Uh everyone else. Uh <laughs> uh Brumhilda <laughs> clearly with her mouthful has said that there is bread in the next room. And Gunther <laughs> is desperately trying to beckon you over. <laughs> Uh, I will wait for just a moment to see how many weevils fall out of that loaf of bread that uh, she's going to town on, and then uh, trot over to Gunther. As hard as this may be, given how loud Brumhilda is, and the fact that we're not being quiet, does it has it sounded at all that there, like there is anyone other than us moving around in here? No. While we've been in here, okay. You have you have not heard. Um, and, and and the the building is the building is pretty solid. Um, the the building is made mostly of stone. Um. Uh, so th there's no there's no creaking. Uh. It's okay. Just okay. Quiet. As 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 it can be yeah well okay. i guess i'll i'm still kind of interested in like trying to figure out if this back door is open and if this boat is actually he is still here well uh, i think uh gunther gunther what is what is your uh What, what are, uh, as Krafla comes over, that that'll be enough for him. He'll he'll stop beckoning if Corn's heading him to check that boat. Um, Gunther will kind of lean in confidentially to to Krafla and say, "Okay, I know we're not. I I, I know we're probably made here, but I I am going to try to keep quiet as much as I can." Because who knows? Maybe they don't know where specifically we are, and that could be an advantage. Um, but but a couple quick updates. One, we saw some blood, and Javi, could you ping on the map again where that blood was on that on the second floor? I there? can do you one better. I will draw the blood on the ground. Oh, oh thank you. Oh yes, draw for us. Um, so Gunther kind of points out the blood on the stairs that they noticed. He uh, mentions to Krafla, also, um, I'm pretty sure I was able to unlock the bell tower, but it's moldy in there. There's a bunch of barrels and crates that are um, decayed. They, they're broken, broken apart. It's, it's weird stuff, man. It, it looks like no one's been in there for years. Um, but lots of lots of I don't know if I mentioned mold, but really moldy too. <clears throat> uh, and also, probably the weirdest thing of all, I think Broomhilda's coming on to me. I, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> good at this kind of stuff. But <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> well, it sounds like you have a pretty good insight uh, as to what's going on around here. Uh, I believe every single thing that you said. Uh, 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 uh. Gunther just <laughs> he just stands there like a broken record. I uh, heard from uh, my wasps um, if they're not already uh, turning back into the little critters at this you know, at this point they will be soon. Um, they sort of got a lay of the land, and the thing I'm concerned about is a boat that they saw off the south side of the island. Now, I left a uh, a little bit of a surprise <laughs> for anyone trying to shuffle out that way. Um, 
but uh, I don't think there's going to be a secret tunnel out of an island this far out to sea, so a secret boat is the uh, next best thing. Um, so I'm suggesting we uh, head around towards the, uh, the south side of the building and maybe leave the uh, horrific mold trap for later. I agree. I think that's a good idea. I'm just worried because someone rang that bell when we got here. No, I understand. Broomhilda's scarier than the mold, but be brave. <laughs> we'll get through this together. I, that's not what I said, but okay. <laughs> Gunther, like, sheepishly kind of walks with Grappla into the kitchen. She instantly holds the bread out. The, the like, little piece that's left uh, to to Gunther and with her mouth full say, you want some? Uh, yep, yep, yep. I, 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 yep. She like hands it over uh, and as she hands it over she does the like weird creepy thing where she like uh, pets his, his hand with her finger as she's passing it. Oh <laughs> <clears throat> I'm trying and to she figure says, out. Uh, I saved it for you. Uh, even though she she really didn't. He just walked in before she finished it. <laughs> I, I think Gunther's passive insight would probably pick that up. <laughs> yeah, uh, she's. I mean, uh, your insight's really intense, and honestly, she's so dumb. Uh, you know, everything she does is really fucking obvious. I'm trying to figure out. G Gunther has to eat anything that he's presented. Is that a flaw? Is that a bond? Is that an ideal? Is that a personality trait? Uh, I'll, I'll figure that out on the back end here, but... <laughs> Thank you, Broomhilda. You're welcome. Okay, uh, uh, Corin, that is a window, not a door. Okay. Brumhilda wants to know what's inside the kettle. Uh, there is soup <gasps> inside the kettle. The I found pot. soup. Oh, I should have saved the bread. It's fine. I eat the soup anyways. The oh, soup. The I... soup is so cold. It's. It's also started to congeal. Are you trying to deter me? Because it's not I working. Really, I really, I really, I was trying to, but you know, I've I've realized the futility of that. Are there any spoons about? <coughs> there, there are there are there are utensils and plates and bowls along the eastern wall. She grabs two spoons. She walks over. <laughs> <laughs> here puts the kettle down and she extends her little chubby hand uh to gunther and offers him a spoon and says oh we could share if you want <laughs> yep it's a flaw all right yep <laughs> <laughs> yeah he accepts <laughs> this is a dude who it. like he he will eat anything because he was just starved for years so yeah yeah yep it's a flaw uh he offers his bread back to Broomhilda to say it looks like you were looking for a little bit of <laughs> extra something i don't know i already had me phil you can have it's yours it's yours we got the soup now uh That's and she's fire. like she's she's scooping like big uh big I don't know, big scoops of fucking soup out of it, but she never drops her eye contact from Gunther as she's doing this. She's like, in her mind, like maybe like a lady in the tramp moment's gonna happen. <laughs> but with soup, I don't know what that looks like, but she just does it. She's like not dropping eye contact. She's just Scooping and, uh, soup into her mouth. And I'm I'm gonna need you to 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 roll sleight of hand here. Uh, oh, this is gonna go great. But, like, keep your keep your hands steady. 
<laughs> as, as you're as you're uh, you're keeping eye contact, you're you're using the ladle, and is you're just missing. You're missing every single every single I'm scoop. Just, I'm just you're, licking you're just licking a dry pouring, spoon. You're just pouring it all over the table. Is there's there is like there's like two pieces of celery that make it in. Uh, <laughs> Mmm, this is very nice soup. <laughs> you know what? I might, uh, after a couple of ladles of soup watching this horror show, I think Gunther's <laughs> gonna try to start a fire and cook the piece of poison meat he has. <laughs> Desperation. There, there, there is a, there's a tinder, there's a tinder box right, uh, uh, standing right next to the, uh, night, right next to the fireplace. He's gonna give it a shot. All right, all right. That uh, a fire, a fire is started. Uh, uh, okay, all right. Well, while you while you start, while you start the fire. Um, Corin. So this is a window, um, and uh, outside the window you can see the boat. Um. What is your? Uh, can you can you uh, roll a perception check for me? Yeah, yeah, of course. If you're if you're if I'm I'm assuming that you uh, went to this place because you're looking outside. <laughs> oh yeah. god. Okay. Uh, so I see a boat. Uh, the stone peaks of the island rise alongside the walls of the Hermitage to create a sheltered grotto. Overlooked by a rampart walkway along the west side of the former fortress, a steep pass ascends ten feet from a short strand of beach up to an exterior... Um, up to an exterior window. Um, a boat is pulled up halfway on the beach, its stern riding low in the water. Um... You're unfortunately unable to see anything more than that. Cool. A, I guess that a, means the boat is still <laughs> there. The, there is a boat there. Uh, there is water there. Cool. Um, I'm going to turn around and join Brumhilda and Gunther in attempting to eat the sh horrible food. Well, she put the soup on the fire, at least. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Poor Gunther sell just sandwiched between us. <laughs> you have nowhere to about escape. Done, yeah? A uh, little medium, a <laughs> little bit of Parisian <laughs> flank. Gunther, you had better not have put any of that bird in there. What? No, not a, not a stew. No, no. I, I'm just gonna give it a quick try. You know, maybe maybe the uh, fire will cook out the poison. You know, and he will. Yeah. I don't want to get vomit on me. Have a bad soup if you like. If you like some yeah. of my soup? I can, I'm heating it up now. Yeah, I, I'll just wait for. Her. For after Gunther's tried this, the bird, and uh, <laughs> he's eating it in one big bite, just like a vacuum, like Kirby. <laughs> yep. Um, everyone that eats the meat, please make a constitution suit. Did you offer the meat to me, Gunther? I don't think I got that much. It was just a little sliver. So you're saying no? That's a no. Yeah, I definitely look hurt that you didn't offer me any of the meat. <laughs> but I don't ask because my pride will not let me. That meat's gonna kill you, boy. Can you describe uh, how how you've cooked this meat? And then describe how you die from the meat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Gunther 
is not a chef by any means. So he just kind of put it over the fire, turned it over a couple of times using some of the implements that are already here. Uh, maybe like five minutes on the fire. As soon as it's brown, he eats it. Okay. Uh, it tastes terrible. Absolutely, absolutely awful. <clears throat> um, very bitter. Um, however, um, you're um, uh, you're kind of you're kind of all right. Surprisingly, not the worst thing I've ever had to eat. That that is true. Rotten Minotaur still holds the cake. <laughs> but, uh, excuse me. <laughs> and he'll just start breathing very heavily <laughs> out here. <laughs> I don't know, Brumhilda. He didn't look so good. Maybe you should go and check on him. Bring him some soup. She, she looks at Cora and she goes, You think he don't like me? Like, he didn't offer me no soup. Or, or I'm sorry, no, no meat. You think he don't like me? She's definitely, like, in her no. head right now. He, Broomhilda, relax. Pour yourself a bowl of soup. He definitely likes you. He just wasn't... He was in the moment, and, you know, the meat was full of venom from the wasps. He probably didn't want to make you sick and wanted to try the meat for himself first before he gave it to you. Yeah, I guess you're right. She's I gonna, know I'm right. She's gonna, uh, like, make him a, a bowl of the soup that I'd assume by now is at least warm-ish. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite a lot of soup. It's, it's gonna take, it's gonna take probably 10 minutes for it to warm back up. Even though she had stuck it in the fire and not on, like, the kettle hook? <laughs> what? The the bowl? The, like, the bowls? The bowls are wooden. No! She she never put it in a bowl. She left it in, in the kettle that it was cooking in. It's gonna smother the fire. She Doesn't mean anything to her. You think she knows how fire hook works? It up? No, she just stuck it in the fire. The, yeah, the fire is not going to get very big then. No. That's that's not how it works. Well, she brings him some cold soup <laughs> in a bowl <laughs> with a spoon. Are you hiding behind the stairs, Gunther? No, Gunther's sitting at the top of the stairs. He's actually, oh. uh, as he's like catching his breath, <laughs> he's looking at this blood trail. Uh, and, and his mind is starting starting to work I brought but, you some soup you didn't look very good back there I brought you some soup oh uh thank you yeah um yeah that that, that wasn't the worst thing I've ever eaten the, the meat but uh, yeah. it might have been top three you feeling all right you need anything uh you know I I think this is great thank you so much I I really do appreciate it, it my, my dad was so fortunate to have friends like y'all he was my best friend. <laughs> like her, her eyes start like welling up with tears, and like the bowl of soup she's holding starts like shaking in her hands. But luckily, it's slightly congealed, so it's just kind of wiggling like jello. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of like one to ten, how sure right now is Gunther that? Uh, creep is not his mom. <laughs> well, I'm. I guess even 100%. then, I'm. How think, old yeah, is 100%. Gunther? <laughs> the real, how old is Gun Gunther? Gunther's in his twenties. Uh, okay, it's a possibility. Because <laughs> even though she's really young for a dwarf, she's still old as shit. Gunther, Gunther, Gunther uh, knew his mother. Yes. Uh, yes. But now how that, confident that, is he? That percent, a million percent. <laughs> oh my In God. fact, 
you know, this reminds me of uh, when my mom would would uh, <laughs> bring me and my sister food when we were sick. That, thank you, Broomhilda. You're quite is, welcome. She was always a great caretaker, my mom. Oh, will you tell me more about your mom? Can I sit here by you? You could tell me about your mom. I mean, she was, uh, you know, what's there to say? She was a good mom. Uh, I, I let her down pretty severely. Um, when she really needed me, but she was she was good mom. I'm sure she don't feel like that. I don't think she feels much of anything anymore, probably. Oh. <laughs> Brimilda, like, <laughs> thinks for a minute, because she doesn't quite understand what that means. Well, uh, did she get... Was she, like, paralyzed? <laughs> Why, is it, why do you go immediately to paralyzed? What the fuck? Well, it's not like... I mean... She's dumb! <laughs> it can't, no feeling? Paralyzed. Oh right? She's been paralyzed before. Uh, I mean, that, oh. that, that could be. Uh, I haven't seen her in a number of years, but she was not doing well last I saw her. As uh, he's kind of telling the story, he's still kind of looking at this blood trail, um, <laughs> probably half-heartedly. But does he notice anything about the directionality of the blood, Hobby? <clears throat> um, no. It's it seems it seems like uh, this these are um. Maybe signs, signs, uh, that, uh, something was, uh, or, or, uh, someone was slain on the spot and, uh, uh, were, were, uh, uh, splattered to death on, well, well on the ground, uh, and then, uh, then there's there's a little bit of like rubbing where uh uh where there would probably be um like they were picked up but there's no like blood trail leading anywhere no no there's just Brain. generally blood around i think uh Gunther's gonna wolf down the, the girl and kind of look to the party and say y'all notice this blood it, there's <laughs> there's no there's no trails right there's what, what what could cause this much blood but not leave any trails for bodies right like the bodies had to go somewhere well the bodies got eaten <clears throat> <clears throat> that worries me more. Hey, I don't know. I was thinking maybe like a wizard thing. with a disintegration power of some sort, or I mean, I guess I want to make blood. I was thinking you uh, bleat, beat someone to a bloody pulp, and uh, maybe you're not bleeding, but you got it coming off of you. Pretty sure I've seen that. Uh, Broom, that that look on this one here before he gestures at Broomhilda. What, what, what about me? What about you me? Why are you are are you trying me now? What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? I'm talking about when you walk off of the battlefield covered in gore because you've just brained a kobold or something with that half of a mountain that you call a hammer. Moments before this, she was like starting to fall asleep <laughs> against the stairwell. <clears throat> uh, oh, right, right. Yeah. You think they got a, a couple of beds in here? Maybe we could take a uh, like a, a have a sleep and uh, get back to it in the morning. Yeah. Uh, she like pats her belly. <laughs> 
It's like, oh, I've had quite a bit to eat. I'm feeling quite nice. I'd like to have a little nap. And, and with that blink, I think we are going to end for the night. <laughs> All right, are we going to get... All right. Can you... I don't think you can unblink without blinking first. That's really stressful to think about. What are you talking about? Oh, hi, everybody. Well, to unblink, you have to blink. Prolonged blinking. <laughs> if you just close your Thank eyes. You for the rain. Just, is the, yeah, but then you open your eyes. Is, is that the, not the unblink? The action of unblinking is is blink is the opposite of blinking. Welcome, closing raiders. your eyes. Or is the opposite no, of it's... closing your eyes, opening your eyes? You guys are drunk. Go home. All right. Was this the first <laughs> session where Broomhilda didn't drink? No, I've been drinking no, my water no, skin that's filled with ale. Remember I the am. yeast paste? Yeah. <laughs> How I've could been you drinking forget the yeast paste? The I entire water. time. Oh no. My the bad. entire bad. time. That was, that was ale mixed yeah. with stale bread. Broomhilda doesn't even drink water at this point. Like anytime she gets a chance, her water skin is filled with ale and only ale. Clearly, clearly, I was too focused on the crime scene. Yeah, and and evading Broomhilda. Oh, there you are! <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Matt Lawson. I love Matt the idea Lawson. of this character with incredible investigation and insight. Nothing really else going for him, but incredible insight and investigation. God, and he's but... being courted by someone who's just the most blatant <laughs> person. I'm real strong, though. I'll protect you. I mean, this this is uh, actually pretty useful in this area. This is, <clears throat> this is kind of like a crime scene. There's uh, there's some there's something afoot. Maybe uh, maybe you'll find out before it's too late. Oh, don't say that, buddy. Before All it's right. too late. <laughs> All right, thank you, everyone. What for, a treat, uh, gentlemen.